Well, hey there, my name is Robert. This is your word for the day. Thanks for joining us here. As we kick this off this morning, I want you to think back to your childhood and think about what made you afraid as a kid. Was it the dark? Was it the monsters in your closet? The boogeyman being alone? Was it that giant dog down the street? Heights, doctors? What was it that filled you with fear? Because all kids carry that very visible and tangible fear of the things that surround them. And if you're a parent, you get to relive some of those fears from a different perspective now. You can see, and, and maybe if you know, you're a parent right now, you can see that or you have seen that as your kids went through this battle against the fear that surrounds them. And as adults, we like to think that we're not afraid of anything. We like to think that those fears are left behind in our childhood. But in reality, we're not afraid of the boogeyman or the monster in the closet, but you probably still battle fears. It may be something tangible like fearing heights or snakes or spiders, or it might be a little bit more concealable, a little bit more intangible, like fearing failure or being alone or fearing change or rejection or being hurt or being inadequate. And those fears aren't as easy to spot as the kid that's afraid of the dark, but they are just as real and can be just as debilitating in our life. And 2020 has brought us a lot of changes, a lot of new things, but it's also maybe brought a new list of fears for you. You now have to confront and, and work through a very real disease and, and risk of, of serious illness and maybe even death in a more significant way than previously. You may now battle a fear of crowds and social interaction that you never did before. And you may battle the fear of confrontation and conflict when you voice your opinion or ideas since 2020 is the year of being wrong no matter what your opinion. So with that, I wanna share with you a, a few verses from Psalm 46. Because Psalm 46 reminds us of where we can find peace in our fear, peace in whatever troubles us. The first few verses of Psalm 46 say this. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains may be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. The psalmist goes on to share uh, several other things that could be happening or going on in the world, but the reminder is that God is our refuge, our escape, our rescue from the things that are pressing in around us. God is our strength when we're struggling to make it through, and we don't know how we're going to face another day of whatever is, is worrying us, whether that be financial struggles or dealing with another day of our kids fighting because they've been home for five months. Whatever it is that you're facing, you're like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. God is your strength. God is your ever-present help when you face trouble, when you face worries and fears. So do you believe that? Do you believe that in the face of your fears, in the face of your weaknesses, your troubles, your difficulty, that God can help you? Because he can. So what do we need to do in, in the midst of this? Well, in verse 10 it continues. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So today, rather than, than trying to keep busy to distract yourself from your fears or trying to work through the troubles and weaknesses around you, be still. Be still and know that God is good, that God is in control, that God wants to work in your life. Then trust him as he moves and works. And let me challenge you, if you want to apply this, we've got an awesome opportunity for you to take some time to be still and to know that God is good in our world. We're gonna have a 24 hour of prayer event coming up this Friday. And I'm gonna challenge you to pick a, a 15 minute time slot and set that time aside to be still, to know that God is good, even in the midst of COVID and social unrest and concerns about schools and businesses and reopenings and economy and election and everything else going on this year. God is good and God is in control. In the end, we can have confidence to face whatever worries or, uh, or whatever troubles we may have because we know that there is nothing in all of creation that, that is more powerful than God. So today, take some time to be still, to, to spend some time worshiping God because He is good and He is your God. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.